Two years ago, a fire ripped through nearly 30 acres of the Bosque right in the middle of the city. But it also torched a lot of habitat of Albuquerque's mostly hidden porcupine population. News 13's Jessica Salinas caught up with some students who've gathered new data about the lasting impact of that fire. They spend a lot of time in the tops of cottonwoods, uh, <laughs> kind of eating on that new growth. For nearly 20 years, students at Bosque School have been studying their neighbors in the nearby forest, tracking the Bosque's population of North American porcupines. And two years after a fire tore through 30 acres near Bosque School, students have been researching the impact of that event as part of their yearly analysis of the local porcupine population. Looking a little closer at how a fire that burned intensely across about 25% of our studied area in uh, May of 2022 had affected the population. The school studies roughly 120 acres of habitat south of the Montano Bridge. Since the Bosque Fire, students say they found a roughly 40% decrease in the area's porcupines. From 2021, we uh, our survey determined there was about 44 porcupines in the 46 hectare area we surveyed. And then in 2023, we saw a decrease to 19. They're not exactly sure what happened to those animals, but they say there's a very good reason for the change. Where we've observed them and where they've moved, they've definitely avoided the burn area, especially because there's not much new food for them to eat there, and it's not necessarily a safe habitat for them. Porcupines are a key part of the Bosque's ecosystem, helping spread nutrients and seeds through the forest floor. We're interested to see how porcupine populations are going to rebound and how they're going to respond. And we're hoping once we're gone that we'll be able to pass it on to future juniors so that they can continue the process. Jessica Salinas, KRQE News 13. 19 Bosque School students helped capture the data. The school plans on continuing the research with future students for years to come.